Hey, how you doing? I've been asked uh, how to model a padstone for bearing a steel beam onto, okay? Uh, now, maybe that's overkill of modeling, but it, it's a question, so we'll answer it. Okay, we're going to do this with a generic model uh, wall hosted family, okay? Uh, right, so here's where it's going to go. We've got a reference plane there going across. Uh, you'll see that in 3D. We have a plane, sorry, we have a beam bind and lock to that. So we're going to want a padstone uh for that for that beam okay in in the wall and that's a 215 block on flat wall with a uh, 25 mil batten and 15 mil with 12 and a half mil plasterboard and skim on each side okay so uh, we go to file new family metric generic model wall based okay there it is and open now you could you could uh, set this up to with an offset from the face of the wall, and maybe that's the kind of the default way of doing things. So it's you know it's ten mil off the face, or it's fifty mil off the face, so you get it to align it just right inside the wall, into the right place. But we're not going to do that. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, set this up so that it it sits straight into the core of the wall. Okay. Now I'm going to edit that wall type, uh, duplicate it. Doesn't matter what you call this, call it wall. Okay. Uh, I'm going to sort of replicate what we have in our project. So we got two one five core, and I'm going to insert a uh, finish layer. Let's say finish on each side. Uh, bring that guy down. Finish. Okay. I'll make that. What is it? Uh, about fifteen mil with the plasterboard skim and twenty five mil buttons. So it's about the same. Okay. It doesn't need to be though. Okay, so we have a core layer, and we have the, the finished layers outside it, okay? And okay, okay. All right, so I need to change that to fine view so I can see those layers. Now, we don't have a reference plane on the core layer. That's the thing. So we, it won't automatically host onto the core layer. So what, what do we do? We create a reference plane, okay? Uh, and you don't align and lock it to the core layer. It should work, but it doesn't. It causes problems and the family breaks, okay? So what you do is uh, dimension it to the core layer. Tab, we find that, okay. Escape, escape, I'm gonna align uh, without the lock. I'm gonna align that reference plane to the core layer. Escape, escape. And I'm gonna select the dimension, lock that. So it's, it's, it's locked by dimension, okay? Don't know why, but that works. And the other way it doesn't, okay, simple as. Right, so we need some constraints. Uh, we're going to, this is set up the width of our uh, of our padstone so it's in the create tab using uh, reference planes okay go through top to bottom and we're going to need a depth as well right i'm just going to pull that oh there it is yeah. okay right so dimension reference plane center reference plane equal and then i'm going to dimension the width and Going to mention off the again, this is the reference plane for our core face depth. Okay, again, we could do the same thing on the other side of the wall and have it so it always sits in onto the core into the width of the core, but that's not always going to be the, what you want, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, okay, so that's depth, select the dimension, click on create new parameter, and we call it uh, depth. Okay, this lad is width, new parameter, width. Okay, uh, we went to the placement side elevation and create another reference plane across, dimension it. Escape, escape, select that dimension, that's our height, okay. I'm not really worried too much about what size of, uh, the pad zone is going to be, but I'm going to make it roughly the size of a block, let's say, or maybe two blocks. So I'm going to make it, uh, yeah, one block, two, one, five. If I make it with okay, height and in plan, make it 440 and the depth will make it 215. I'll change that after though, after I put in the extrusion. Okay, so create tab again, extrusion, use the rectangle tool. You can go from corner to corner where the reference planes intersect. You'll find that there, okay, and then automatically looks for the lock. So we lock it to all those reference planes, escape, escape, tick, out of the command, 
Perfect. While it's selected, you might as well give it the uh, material parameter, okay? Go over to this guy over here, the little gray box, click it, new parameter, and call it what you will, material, and okay. Okay, all right? So I'm gonna change the depth then to 215 for my purposes, okay? There it is there, right? In plan. Uh, we go to placement side, just stick on the wireframe so we can see it, okay? Select the extrusion. I'm gonna just pull the bottom pull handle up and down until I get to the reference plane and lock. I'm gonna do the same with the top one, okay? And lock. Now we're, we're fixed in place now, okay? Escape, escape. We'll call this guy uh, family padstone. We'll overwrite that guy, okay? Save. And load into the family. Sorry, into the project. Okay. Okay, so in the ground floor plan, I'm gonna load that uh, padstone in. I know where I'm loading it because of the reference plane there. So just pop that in there. You can see it's going into the right place, into the into the core of the wall. Escape and go to that section. There it is there, okay? So select it. I may be giving it a material. I'll give it a concrete material, okay? Okay, castle situs, that's fine. All right, so we'll move it up the wall. We align it to... Uh, 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 and the top of there, okay. Lock. Now that looks like it's all good and ready, but if you look at that in 3D, we're actually not joined. Uh, where's it gone? Okay, so just in 3D, I'll pull that back the, the scope box back to the beam so we can see it. All right, there it is, there, right? So it's not joined to the wall. You'd like it to be joined to the wall if you're looking at, let's say, in, in this kind of a view, okay. Now you can, you can just use your join tool. And join it to the wall like that okay and if you're happy with that that's fine but we're just going to take another step so that you don't have to do that okay we're going to add that into the family all right so i'm going to undo that join there we are and if i select that family again and edit it and i'm going to I'll just change that to wireframe i'm going to save this as padstone uh, void. There, I had one there from earlier, okay, save. Yes. Okay, so that's a new family now. The reason I did that is because it has all the parameters already in it and has the, the, the size and shape and color, the material, the whole lot, right? So now I'm gonna open the actual padstone family, right? Open. I'm gonna go back into my void. Okay, I'm going to have to make it a void first, actually. So select, in the void family, select the extrusion. And over here, where we have solid or void, it's uh, solid, change that to void. Okay, apply. Now use the cut command. Pick your void, pick the wall. Okay, escape, escape. And now we have, a, that's creating a hole in the wall. Okay, so we're going to load that into our padstone family and put that hole in the wall perfectly uh, around where we're going to have our padstone. Okay. So load of the project can close, uh, select the padstone. Okay. Yeah, sure, save it, why not? Okay, we're on the placement side. I'm just gonna pop it in there somewhere. Escape, escape. Yes, we have the wireframe on. So that's our void, okay? So I'm gonna align and lock it uh, to the center. That's an elevation again. And I'm going to align and lock it. Uh, oh, before we do, actually, I'm going to uh, associate the parameters. So select the void, uh, go to edit type, and we have our parameters here. Okay, we, that material parameter is still there, but obviously there's no material in it. It's a void. So depth, go to the little gray box at the end, and select depth from this family. So that it, uh, when you put the value in, it'll change the value of the void family. Okay, height, do the same thing. Okay. This is, this is what you call a nested family, okay? So, and width, do the same thing, okay? So now they're matched, so one updates the other in the project environment. So back into a, uh, the Modify tab, align the lock, align to that top reference plane there, pick that guy, and locked. Okay, it's all done now. Loaded the project and close. Uh, do you want to save changes to Padstone? Sure, why not? 
over at graph yeah there it is okay you cut the wall it doesn't have material though let's try with that so select it edit type uh, material concrete cast in situ it's fine okay there it is see it's in the wall and it's cutting the wall Jenna. all right maybe you'll do that maybe you won't <laughs> maybe you'll just detail line it but that's how to do it and you can use the same principle for making other stuff hosted on a wall obviously so i hope that was of some use to somebody uh if it was give it a like appreciate that and subscribe and all that stuff drop a comment okay all right thanks